Yes, the, uh, it's amazing how the uh, the Irish boys obviously haven't grown up with the, with the oval ball, but they do pick up the kicking skills uh, quite quickly. Good athletes, that's the reason they've, they've obviously given a chance. A quick kick out of the pack, it's a bouncing ball. Has it gone through? It has. Merritt's kicked the goal. As I said, eight debutantes from this year between the two sides out there. May not be for finals. Hooker, can you believe it? The Ruckman becomes the goal scorer. It all happened here in round two for him. It's happening in round 23 as well. A little bit, but two metres. He just doesn't appear to be two metres, but he's got extraordinary agility for a man that high. Imagine he fills out. Yeah, he's only 95 kilos. And he gets to sort of the 105, 6 like a few of the big forwards. He's going to be a handful. So Laverde, he starts to lead one way, ignored. Out the back, a chance for Goddard. Had his hands on it. Here's McKernan around the body. Well done. So McKernan brings up the Bombers third. Back to a level ball game. We saw Pendlebury was at half back, so he went down and manned him up in the first quarter. Then he swapped himself off the ball onto a wing, so he's on him again. Well, a few errors just creeping in Ooh, now. Yeah. It was interesting, yes, but just before Maxi, you mentioned Ben Kennedy, who. I'm not going to give away the free. But it's still a natural desperation action the players are taking time to adjust to. Well, Goddard well, gets his first and gets the Bombers back in front by a point. I think he loves his cage fighting. You reckon <laughs> if he was cage fighting himself, he'd be a formidable opponent? The last few moments, it's like they've been fighting in a cage. They've been at close quarters. Melksham unloads. Long ball from inside the square. And it's got the carry. Bounces through. Goal. Essendon, eight points in front. Well, he just didn't... He just, he just froze up in a way. It was like a set shot at goal and a bad one at that. Carlisle, Danaher. Strong grab. Great hands. We're right behind it. Vice like for McKernan. So ten and a half minutes to play. It's been a good term for the Bombers. Run out a little bit of space here. Bagley. Two two to one behind in this term. Fantasia now. Hocking. Heppel. Zaharakis, that was well done. Danaher. Fantasia keeps going. Now Kavanaugh inside 50. Ball over the top again for Stanton. He gets it from Kavanaugh and kicks the goal. Paulie in the end for Oxley. Then he ran into trouble. Zaharakis got hold of the football. Scharenberg, the tackler. Little toe poke came from White. Went out to McKernan. Grundy picked it up. Low ball. Skips into the hands of Pears. Back to McKernan. Now through a couple of pies. Threads the ball into the middle. Hocking. Saw Maynard coming. Well done, Fantasia. Worked it back inside to Hocking. Low ball. Laverde. Quickly, they move it on again. Now to Goddard. Pulls the kick into the pocket. Zaharakis. He plays on. Zaharakis. Yes, sir. Neither could really have a clean win of the football. Langdon, Sharonberg. Now Elliott. Pulls the kick. Well, Hocking. Turned his back and then turned the right way. Ended up going short to Stanton. Heppel. Running was Goddard. Wide player is Howlett. Now the long ball. Danaher's going to have the height. Reed goes back. Danaher, hooker. Oh, Nathan Brown. Reed was still just coming out of the tumble. Danaher, little shimmy back inside. Stanton. Nice finish. He's got a couple. The Pies, after leading by six points at quarter time, trail by a couple of points here. And inside the last minute, it would be a small win for the Bombers, but at this stage of the season, any win would be a good one. Kavanagh goes low to Danaher. Marsh has him covered. Side bottom, little give. McKenna quickly. Jackson Merritt, clever. Stanton will kick his third. For Essen and all Collingwood, more so Essen, it's like having a shocking round of golf but powering the last. You yeah, come back yeah. with some sort of enthusiasm. And a win at this stage, as you said, will make pre-season and well, the break just a little more pleasant. Stanton kicked three in the third term. Side bottom just pulled up. Had two. Zaharakis attack the footy. Varko, clever slap wide. Crisp 
Well, who got there first, just pushed off the ball too easily, and then Merritt, Hawking, brilliant! Well, there's a bit of action on after the, uh, after the shot at goal. A little bit of a dust up. Fantastic goal from Hawking, really. I mean, the outside of the left foot. I mean, we often players still miss goals from set, uh, set shots, gettable distances, gettable angles. But by the ability of the uh, modern generation of players to kick the freaky goals from the band line, turn it on their boot, hook it around. That came after the Hocking goal to start this third term. And there is Hocking over the oh. back of Kennedy. And quickly, he plays on Fantasia Laverde. After starting in the vest, so Adams again gets it from Varco, can run hard now. Ball low, Ooh, coming one way was Kennedy for Solo, the other, and for Solo, slow to get up. Bagley gathers the football, puts it onto the chest of Merritt. And Merritt has got it in his hands for Solo, looks to be okay. He's got under that ball, Laverde, Marsh at the back. Might be holding the ball. Good tackle by McKenna. That same uh, ability to make good contact. It was a long way from home. Didn't make Got good contact then. Not, not good contact, but he's kicked the goal lead. Good enough. The that... Irish way. And we come off the boot very well. <laughs> Maynard short to Crisp. Ten points is the lead for Solo, had it knocked away. Merritt stepping inside. Fantasia keeps it low. And Hooker on the lead, Mark. So, again, the turnover. Many more goals from turnovers from kick-ins than actually going from coast to coast. Hooker's kick on the way and straight. He's got two. It's back to four points. So just on 10 minutes of these teams' season left, and well, Hawking can go and have a look. So hasn't seen a lot of footy this year, just his fifth game, his first goal of the year, an absolute gem. His second, welcomed by Bombers fans, back to four points. He'll be happy to hug the boundary line. Reed, Moore, big flight in the back, Carlisle. Adjudicated. Well, we've seen Carlisle. Kept his feet again against Carlisle. Here goes the teenager. A bounce. Inside he looks. Through the seagulls. He doesn't find a pie. He finds Hurley. He knows time is against him. Quickly to Bagley. Bagley over the top. Inside Milksham goes. Fantasia. They've got time, the Bombers. Goddard gives it back to Fantasia. Again using Laverde. Fantasia's kick affected by the tackle, but it's OK. And the Ruckman yes. McKernan with 1.37 left on the clock. Hocking, he's been an angry man all day. Now he is delighted. He's kicked three, and Essendon in front with less than 90 seconds in the season to play. Amazing. When the ball goes up and down a couple of times, the players just you lose their structure. I mean, coaches love the structure. We love it unstructured, to be honest. And when the ball bounces up and down, all of a sudden, one player gets forward on his own. It's only a matter of can, who can maintain possession. Essendon did it on the way back from the Collingwood forward line. And Hocking not only had the shot, slotted it beautifully. Hocking came in this afternoon, <laughs> four games, hadn't kicked a goal. He's got three this afternoon. The first was a banana that was a gem. The second, a set shot. The third, you've just seen. Bombers suddenly in front. Hocking wins the football again. Now to Edwards. Did he soak up the clock? Well, surely this man will. So Merritt should take as much time as he's allowed. No, nope, moves it on to Stanton. Thank you, Levi. Thank you. So the last 60 seconds of the home and away season. And the Bombers retreat. Now, this man kicked an extraordinary goal in round two to steal a victory against the Hawks. He finds himself at halfback now. Big, big contest coming, and maybe that's enough for the Bombers. Yeah, they were able to soak up 30 seconds. They, 
lost 50 metres doing it, but once the ball goes out of bounds, all the dos is lost that 30 seconds, although back to a neutral play. Matthew Egan, how he'd love a win. In his last game in charge of the Bombers, the quick takeaway, Greenwood down the line. It's got to be perfect here. And side bottom plays it perfectly. Blair's kick inside 50. They need a mark. Hooker, it's on his back. He gets the free kick. Not positive what the free kick was for. It was almost a mark. I think it was his teammate Bagley that got him high. Yeah, yeah no, I think that's a bad free kick. Again, the player doesn't have the benefit of the of the replay, but it didn't look like there was any Collingwood player contacting uh, Hooker High. Pretty handy cramp to get in the end for Bagley. So we've got 18 seconds left on the clock. They've got to get a turnover and they've got to get it fast. 190. Eight home and away games. The last 10 seconds, a mark must come for the Pies. Well, it doesn't. Maybe it is enough for the Bombers now. It is. And a year that couldn't end fast enough for the Bombers finally has, and it ends with a win. Between, but they win, Maxi, you with the skipper. Yeah, no doubt, mate.